I was in the office talking to the assistant principal. They wanted me to do a work program, but they didn't tell me what. I said, what would you want me to do if I were to do a work program? And he said, well, we're looking at media arts. And I must have waited like two seconds and then I said, I'll do it. I was like, did I really say that? You know, because A, I knew nothing about media arts. Yes, I am a dancer. Yes, I come from theater. I know it involves lighting. I've done a lot of lighting. But what made me think I could do that? You should be like, hey, you should be high energy. All right, just giving you some notes on this, okay? Cut the word C in the script. Hey Mustangs, it says, hey C Mustangs. I started dancing when I was three. So I learned from a young age the benefit of eight weeks of rehearsal and then we do the Nutcracker for 10 performances. I do think our challenges shape us. In my case, probably the biggest challenge was being a single parent and raising my daughter. I moved to California when she was 14 months old. My mom is still in Chicago and I don't have any family here. And it was not easy. Those are the hardest years of my life. And I was really bound and determined to do a good job with her. I just was. At the same time, I was running a business. She'd be at the studio and she'd start acting out because her mother's running the studio. Everybody else's mother's taking them home and I'm like staying behind to do a books or call a parent or, you know, and she wanted to go home too. Starting a dance studio as a single mom. Yeah, right. That was scary. You know, the studio was a big, big part of my life, having a dance studio. And every year we did a recital and every student got on that stage and was pushed to be their best. I'm used to pushing people. I'm used to saying, that was good, now I think it can be better. Or that was great, but now slow down and say it like this. Here, I want you to put that line. That tells you to stop and then say CTC. Okay. Go. K C D C Project. Excellent. Feel it? I want to hear everybody say. I like it. Go. K C D C Project. Excellent. Ready, Brian? K T C. I don't hear C. It sounded like T C C. C T C. C T C. Can I have quiet so I can hear him? It's not your turn. It's not your turn. Go. K T C C. C, C, T, C. T, C. C, T. No, you're saying T. C, C, T, C. T, C. Exactly, say that again. C, T. No, C, like you see out of your eyes. C, C. They know that we're sitting and talking ideas. We're writing. Now we're putting it on paper. We're practicing, we're doing a table read. Now we're in front of the camera. Now we're doing it for real. That whole process took maybe four weeks. Anybody else would look at it and say, paint's dry, but they're in it. And they know that they're growing. And they know what it took to go from an idea to them standing up there doing it. They're being asked to do more than they've ever done before, and they're rising and doing it. The fact that they feel that important that they're gonna rise up and present themselves in this way, that is worth all the struggle. They may struggle at first, but then they find it in themselves. It's a miracle in a way. I always congratulate them. Pat yourself on the back. They put their hearts out there and they've, they've given it their best. I do demand a lot from them and I'm constantly pushing. In my own life, I had people do that for me. I had a voice teacher in, when I was on the road with The Wiz. I got the understudy for Dorothy with very little training. So I needed a voice teacher to help me. And that voice teacher, Dolores Davis, really, again, she was really rough. <laughs> it was really hard. It's like being in boot camp. But I think she also knew I could take it and she knew that there was something there. That she, she knew what she was trying to get out of my voice and out of what I was doing. And she didn't settle just because it was hard. And I was willing to work that hard. So she was a wonderful mentor. But let's keep it touching. Okay. I always like to touch a nerve. Okay. And that memory thing touches a nerve. 
What food you like touches a nerve? Because all of us can think of dishes. You explained what you ate this weekend for your birthday. I was ready to run out the door and go get noodles and crab and all those things you described, right? So when we touch on something that other people can relate to, we've hit a bingo. And I think we've got at least two bingo questions. Now, you're going to be the host. Yeah, you are. Oh, yeah. Don't say no now. Okay, you, uh, let me ask you why you said no. Talk to me. What do you think? Are you kidding? You're gonna be. You're gonna be great. You're gonna be great. We'll have it scripted. In that writers' room, when they had those ideas and they were saying things like, "We want to belong," and we feel sometimes like we don't fit in, and and because we have a disability, people don't see us the same, and we don't fit. Her host number. Don't be afraid. Okay. You got this. Got Smiling. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I'm rolling camera. And host one, go. Your Minnie name? Justine's. Say your name first. Minnie, it's I'm mm -hmm. Minnie. Look right here. I'm Minnie. Host. Host one. Excellent, Minnie. And I'm host two, Kelsey. Someone said you should go to special ed. I could have done that in school, but I was kind of avoiding it. But it felt like that might be so hard to teach special ed, to teach students that have difficulties, right? What I found was remarkable for me. It was life-changing. Everybody has difficulties, number one. And usually those students are much kinder. They've been through a lot. And when you work with a child that's had so much that they've had to handle. That child has a wisdom there. There's a depth there. And I really enjoyed that. They had a well within them, perseverance. And Sue McGee is one of the greatest people here in Miller. She's one of the goats. Because, you know, she's, I think, one of two or three African-American people out here. But I feel really appreciated to see the, the Black community continue to rise. What I like about Miss Cindy is that she's teaching me how to be a hard worker. Miss Cindy is a very gracious, patient person. So she's being really patient with me. A really kind, always caring. A little rock on my table says courage. It just takes a lot of courage. But I think it's for everyone. It's, it's not just for a single parent or someone in poverty or someone struggling with an illness or disability, we all are struggling with All the things I didn't know, I've begun to learn. I still don't know a lot, but we're getting through and we're producing things. And I guess each year we do the program, we'll learn more. Things, it's Bryson. And Ryan, here was your first K. CGC Broadcast. I can't believe it's our first broadcast from our very own studio here at Miller. Dreams do come true. If you wake up and go to work. Speaking of work, there are a number of people working behind the scenes to make this all happen. Take a look how it all came together.